Regional Rapid Transit System A semi-high-speed, world-class suburban rapid transit system connecting important cities with national capital of New Delhi. The system, abbreviated to RRTS, is so futuristic that we couldn't even think of something like this happening in India. Come, let's know more about the Delhi NCR RRTS and how much feasible it is. Before we start, I request you to subscribe our channel. We bring this type of videos on metro rails and other rapid transit systems across India. The Delhi NCR RRTS is a 349 km proposed rail-based rapid transit network dedicated to serve the national capital region. The system includes three corridors connecting New Delhi with Merit, Panipat and Alwar. Out of these three, the delhi Merit corridor has been given the priority and will be constructed first. On 11th July 2013, the National Capital Region Transport Corporation Limited or NCR RTC was formed for designing, developing, implementing, financing, operating and maintaining the RRTS. The world class train sets will be running on the 82 km standard gauge tracks between Delhi's Sarai Kalekhan station and Merit. The trains will have 6 coaches and a passenger capacity of 1154 passengers. The system will have a top speed of 180 km but the trains will be running at a speed of 160 km with 5 to 10 minutes frequency. The Merit corridor will be costing around 32,500 crores and the corridor will be going via Ghaziabad having 16 stations. Sarai Kalekhan station will be a three-line interchange which will be hosting the terminals of all three RRTS corridors due to be built. The most interesting fact of the RRTS system that we can never imagine is this suburban network will be sharing some section of its track with the proposed Merit Metro Rail. Yes, authorities found that Meerut Metro and RRTS will be having some sections in common with each other. Since both systems will be using standard gauge tracks, the authorities decided to construct common tracks for RRTS and Metro from Parthapur to Modipuram. This section would cost Meerut Metro about 8,338 crore. If RRTS and Metro uses same tracks, this section would cost around 2,100 crore. Also, there will be no competition in ridership between RRTS and Metro. Since Metro will stop on every station in between Parthapur and Modipuram, whereas RRTS will stop only on selective stations interchanging to Metro. Now, why does Delhi NCR need an RRTS? The national capital region is not a small area. There are numerous cities like Panipat, Sonipat, Merat, Alwar, Rewari, which serves as the satellite cities of Delhi. The main problem with NCR is it lacks super efficient suburban systems like Kolkata, Mumbai or Chennai. This is why the people of the satellite cities have to rely on road transport to reach to New Delhi for their day-to-day -day job. That is why the authorities have decided to build a world-class suburban railway similar to the Delhi Metro which will connect these cities with New Delhi in just an hour. Travel time in between Delhi and Meerut will reduce to just 60 minutes once the RRTS gets commissioned in 2024. In our upcoming videos on RRTS, we will discuss the rest of the RRTS lines which are going to be constructed. We will also know if RRTS is feasible in other cities across India. Thanks for watching Metro Rail Blog. Please subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.